For this breakfast bagel, I've truly got the works for you. We got some bacon, creamy guacamole, the best poached eggs, and it all comes together so quickly. The focus is the poached eggs, so keep tuned to get all the tips to get these poached eggs just right. And if you followed me on Instagram, you all knew that somebody was working on a bagel recipe given all the bagels that I recently bought. So follow me on Instagram to not miss any behind the scenes content, full recipes on the website, and let's get started. So it all starts over a cold pan to which you can add your bacon, then turn the heat up to medium, and then we'll just let that cook. Turn it ever so often until most of that fat has rendered out. I got this bacon from the deli, that's why it looks extra smoked extra special and I slice these myself and they're just so good so if you can get the bacon from a local deli go for that instead of the package now that bacon is looking amazing you know what to do here just get them nice golden brown crispy it's always fun to look at bacon cook and when you're ready with it then take them aside pat them dry with some paper towels and then just set that aside while I show you my bagel. Now this is a jalapeno and cheddar bagel and I got this at a local bakery and somehow this is the only bakery that sells jalapeno cheddar bagels that's not Costco. So slice that open and here are our beautiful bacon strips. We're gonna chop that and no one's judging you if you're snacking and chopping. Now let's focus on the eggs now. Pouring it from a cup is gonna make it so much easier and let's bring our water to a simmer to which we're gonna add some vinegar. Vinegar is acidic and what that helps to do is break down the whites in that egg really quickly. It breaks down the protein in it and really helps for it to cook rapidly. We want it to cook rapidly so that it can quickly envelop around the egg yolk and form a nice clamshell, just a nice protective armor around that yolk so that the yolk cooks evenly. And you really want to use a good quality whisk to create a nice strong whirlpool that stays long enough for you to pour that egg gently into that water so the whites can literally wrap around that egg yolk. So now to demonstrate that, go ahead and grab your whisk, make a nice and strong whirlpool or vortex and then gently go as slow as you can and drop that egg right in there the egg whites are gonna wrap right around that egg yolk and you'll get a really nice clamshell of that egg white protecting that egg yolk making it cook nice and even i've got way more tips that i have for you in the full recipe down below so be sure to check that out before you try this for yourself. Try something new and mastering a new technique, such as poached eggs, it's very rewarding. And for you to get more of that in your cooking life, I have some top ways to really get you cooking, really get you motivated and excited to get in the kitchen. And just for your own pleasure, check out my Live to Cook cooking challenge, just to make things interesting for you, free guides, linked down below. After three to four minutes, you can remove the egg with a slotted spoon and place that on a clean paper towel. And now toast the bagel just the way that you like it. And I feel like toasted jalapeno bagels really makes them a bit extra spicy, which I love. Now time to throw some green with my homemade guacamole, one of my all time favorite recipes. And the full guide with the recipe for the guacamole, how to assemble this sandwich, and how to get the poached text perfect on my website. So I'll link everything down below for you. My bagels have a nice coating of my guacamole. And here's what the egg looks like after most of that moisture has been taken out. Just gently place that on the bagel. And I really hope with this video, you found a really simple, straightforward way to make great poached eggs. And if you did, leave a like and 
if you guys live to cook then be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this i have a couple of years of experience in the restaurant industry and i really hope to use that to really present stuff to you in a really kind of streamlined easy fun way that really makes these intimidating kind of techniques or dishes just seem so easy for you so be sure to check out for more of that by subscribing right away and yeah just top it with your bacon with some nice jalapeno hot sauce if you feel like it for that extra kick and these bagels they are looking amazing share this recipe with a bagel lover in your life and if you really want to make this bagel breakfast even more special pair it with my homemade mocha and if you love bagels you're gonna love my pepperoni bagel pizzas and for more eggs check out the full playlist i'll see you in the next one bye guys